Hey, thank you so much for joining me today and I want to talk to you about something and it's something that you need to be aware of and if you don't know already, but here's the truth, the odds are stacked against you, okay? For you to go out there and successfully launch your app, or not even launch that, even get to the launch pad, you've got to have money, okay? Unless you're prepared to self-fund your app, you're going to have to speak to people that have the money. You're going to have to go to people that have your money. Who's got your money? Okay, the investors do, all right? But I'm going to tell you the odds are stacked in your favor if you cannot effectively go out there, deliver your concept, and secure the funds you need to build your app idea. The reason why the odds are stacked against you is because everybody thinks they have the next latest and greatest app idea. And that's cool, that's great, it drives competition, it drives innovation, and that's what you want because it's gonna make you work harder, okay? But it's also important to know that these people are going after the same, same money you are, okay? So you have to make sure that you're prepared for your competition, all right? And one of the things that's gonna give you a huge advantage is you come prepared. And I talked about this in a previous video, but I wanna make sure that you are absolutely clear on this because it's gonna make the difference between you and your competition and you launching your app. So what it comes down to is that you don't just show up with these things. Never show up to a presentation with your investor with just your pitch deck. This is like a pitch, you know, one of those pitch stands, you know, and you're standing here with your stick or, you know, your pointer. <laughs> or with your, your business plan, okay? Nothing's gonna turn off an investor more if that's all you have. Because believe it or not, your competition is more sophisticated than you. And my goal here is to make sure that you are sophisticated uh, as them, if not even more, that you come prepared with your prototype and then you have all your documents, your supporting documents, and then you know how to close, this is a handshake, you know how to close the deal, okay? And how do you do that? Well, the way you make sure that you eliminate your competition is have a prototype. I can tell you right now, there's a lot of individuals that come pitch their app ideas to us, they don't have a prototype. They always say, I have a business plan, I have a pitch deck, I have a wireframe. Wow, great, no one cares, we don't care. The reason why we don't care is because we need to see a prototype. So that's why our company, Suite 24, has, got, has, has helped individuals get prototypes built so then that way they can go out there and beat the competition, all right? So that's what we tell them that they're gonna need. But what you need is you need to get this prototype built. You need to have all your documents prepared and you need to know how to close investors. So prototypes number one shows that your theory is now, uh, and everything that was written is theory, you know, my documents, it's not a proven concept, it's, you can show it, it's real. It's a living, breathing thing. I could put it on my phone and I could turn it on and I could play with your app. That's what they need to see, number one. Then get technical, show them all your documents. And then when it comes time to ask for the money, ask for the clothes, that is when you need to be your strongest. That's when you have to be your most confident. And the way you do that is studying who are the best at closing. And the best way to do that is my recommendation is number one is uh, to download the, uh, the book, audio book, or buy the book itself called, called The Closer Survival Guide by Grant Cardone. That book alone will help you close your investors m better than anything else because there's going to be objections, there's things that are going to uh, come up that you're going to have to be able to address. You're going to apply those closes to here. So when you're there and you're meeting with your investor, you're like, Hey, Mr. Investor, this is the best idea you're gonna see. You better get on it now because it's gonna, it's gonna be massive. It's gonna explode, it's gonna blow up and you'd be crazy not to get it. And they're gonna be like, yeah, they're gonna buy in your enthusiasm, but they're gonna be like, well, let me ask you this. I have a question. Well, what happened to this or this or that? And you would be like, here's the answer to this. Here's how I object to that. Here's how I'm gonna close you because I'm prepared. I came prepared, and that's what you need to do. So you need to make a list of all your objections you're getting from other investors that you've spoken to, and then use the Closer Survival Guide, match them together, so when you go make your next pitch, you are on point, and you are ready to go, and you can raise the money, because that's what you want. 
So that's how you're going to beat your competition. You know, get rid of this stuff. Don't put this in the front. Prototype, then that stuff in the back. Know how to close them. Close a survival guide by Grant Cardone. Help you raise the money you need. And then you'll be able to uh, launch your app and get it out in the app store. That's what you want to do. And this is the fastest and this is the easiest way to do it. So following this method makes it really easy for you. So don't, don't feel that uh, you know, your competition is sleeping on you. Okay, because this is what your competition, if they're smart, they're doing this. And this is how you're going to beat them if they're not. So get out there, do these things, and get out there, repeat this process, get the money you need, build your app.